That Smush Parker interview was funny as hell because that nigga said Kobe didn't speak for me for two years. He sat right next to each other. Kobe out of pocket. Yeah, Kobe fucked up for that. <laughs> That's crazy. R.P. Bean, bro. But nah, damn. yeah, you could have talked to him, bro. You could have said what up. I don't like that Smush just now saying something about it. He said this before. Nah, though. he said this before. Oh, okay. We well, just didn't care. Yeah. It's just funnier now. Because I'm like, man, why would you just... I didn't know. So I'm like, why would you just say something now and this man... Let this man rest in peace, bro. Nah, but if he already didn't express this oh, before... Nah, he, that, he expressed this when he was still here, bro. Yeah, it probably could have... The man just was like, bro, like, how you doing? Did you watch the game? No, get the fucking work. You don't got enough accolades to talk to me? That's crazy, bro. That's funny. I don't give a fuck who you are, bro. That's me, crazy. I was talking so bad to Kobe that night. Yeah. Man, nigga, you... I would have said something crazy. I you know probably would have got cut, that. but... I was going to say... I would have risked my job that night. Where did somebody go after the Lakers? I'm bringing, I'm bringing up everything. I don't know. Did he, did he who after that? I, I think it was a couple styles, but I don't think it was nowhere consistent. That nigga, did he go to Charlotte? I don't know. I like Smush Parker, too, when he used to be in the league. I uh, thought he was nice. I just, unfortunately for me, he was just punch lines. Uh, I like Niggas him. just talk crazy about Smush. I liked him. I don't, I don't remember what he did. Just a solid player. That but was effective. Thought he had a game. He he could hoop. Definitely was athletic. Could hoop. He had <laughs> handles. But playing I mean, next to Kobe. playing with Lakers is probably gonna yeah. gonna be magnified. So whatever you don't do, well. he was on them like, bad bad Laker teams too. Oh yeah, yeah, they were terrible. Yeah, shout yeah. out to Smush man. That's right. Get, get well, bro. Get well. Your coworker not talking to you for two years is insane. Cause what I do to you? When I, I think about th- it, it's amazing that me and Paul George didn't talk for like four or five months. Like, it was like four months. We were out of pocket. That's four crazy. months? Yeah, we didn't talk. And we was, we was like Smush Parker and Kobe. He once said that shit to me, though. But <laughs> we was like Smush Parker and Kobe. <laughs> Going four months is crazy, because I have to play in the game with each other. Yeah, we did not talk. So did niggas communicate in the game, or did you just like, fuck it? Yeah, we communicate during the game, but I'm saying like off the court, we just didn't talk. And I don't even know why. That's crazy. Yeah. Shit, when did y'all just start talking? Like, well, how did Oh, we had a uh, plane ride, and um, Aaron Brooks made us talk. Yeah. Shout out to Aaron Brooks. Aaron Brooks maybe took off my headphone and said, you're going to talk today, motherfucker. I don't care about that Indianapolis shit. You're going to talk. And that's how we get like, you, He's like, I don't got no problem with you. I was like, I don't got no problem with you. He said, why the fuck y'all don't talk? <laughs> so what are we going to talk about? And then we actually started talking a little bit. He got cool. But we both we- started popping out. Yeah, he came out to a yeah. couple parties I did. Yeah. Yeah, it became cool. <laughs> it took for niggas to be trapped on the plane ride to talk to each other. Yeah, because we didn't talk. I wasn't going to say nothing. I don't think he was either. We were legit just like walk by each other. They get on the court and be like, hey, if you see me in the corner, just throw it up. I'll go get it. And then we get off the court. Like, nigga, I ain't never <laughs> seen you before. Families could walk by each other. They ain't say that shit. It was, it was weird. <laughs> yeah, on Twitter, I say you were one of the first niggas in the NBA with work-life balance. <laughs> he just hooped and went home. <laughs> who, the fuck, who the fuck said that? Work life balance is crazy. <laughs> it was like Jim just said work. Why you playing basketball? I did, bro. <clears throat> I did. I was I was childish, man. That's funny as hell. The funny part about it is y'all was good. Yeah, so, we was straight. So that was successful with y'all niggas not talking. Y'all was still winning games. Uh, we probably talked. We probably would have won more. Like, damn. Yeah, we tried to get too. We tried to get cool too late. I definitely try to get cool when my con- <laughs> when it was my contract time too. I was tap PG. Nigga heard good? him nervous. He was finna get it. <laughs> what's good, bro? Tap it in. Stay. You gonna be MVP next year? <laughs> Having something at the house tonight. Yeah. Nigga, slide. <laughs> you hungry? <laughs> Got the oh, chef. Nasty. Got the chef coming through. Slide. <laughs> oh man. Uh, y'all heard a little rumblings. He was ready to leave. I was calling him very boy. You straight? You got a softball game? I'm coming. <laughs> I'll be there. Yeah. <laughs> the infamous softball game. Yeah, I'll be there. I think got that bike said, I'm staying. I said, Ooh, you going to win MVP next year, nigga. I'm going to make sure of it. That nigga left. I ain't talking to Nick since. <laughs> well, like, you know what, Jeff? Go on, get your ass up out of here, too. <laughs> <laughs> exactly how he did me. My buddy was dependent on me. <laughs> My buddy was dependent on bro, bro. Bounce. I was hurt. It's all good. That nigga ain't defended on nobody since. <laughs> oh, dude. Ain't talking to me. You and PG could be better next year. Yeah, gotta get make sure he's happy. Yeah. Yeah, I got you. Yeah. I'll try to sit everything is what? Will we play for the hoes? I right. <laughs> nah, for sure. Boy would have been in the position he is now. I would have I was doing whatever, bro. 
<laughs> but we fly them in. <laughs> Yeah, hey, yo. <laughs> yeah, I was just saying, bro. I was, I was ready for the team. They got the red carpet ready to be like that. Man, what? You want to go to Atlanta? For sure. Trust me, I know everywhere to go. Man, I was going to roll it out for him, man. The funny part about that is everybody acted so surprised about that except Nate. <laughs> when Kevin Nate was just like, told y'all. Yeah, Nate yeah, always knew, said though. Though. Nate, yeah, knew, Nate knew. Yeah, yeah, Nate knew. Nate told me. He's like, you know, P.O. won't be here, man. That's why I always fucked with him, though. Even though I used to hate the way he did certain stuff with y'all media-wise, but he was always, like, he was, like, a hundred about shit. Yeah. I always fucked with that because a lot of these coaches don't be like that at no, all. Nate, Nate was real, man. He told me when I got there. He was like, man, make sure PG happy. Give him the rock and do your thing. But he was like, you know he ready to lead, though. He 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 want to go to L.A. He ain't trying to be out here. Yeah. And I was like, oh. <laughs> we said, you want to go to L.A.? Cool. Okay, see, it is. That is fucked up. He was going to get there, though. Yeah, he, he got over. there. Yeah, That's why I don't crazy. know why people think he ever going to leave. He wanted to be there. Man, I hate that that whole fantasy Pacers talking about, oh, PG, come back next year. Why in the fuck would he come back here? Next nah, year? he ain't going Why? Back. I love here, but why would he come back here? Why? And that new arena they got? Come Y'all on, bro. crazy, bro. That is what, what? Ten games in a row? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. We got to put some more space. We got to put some more respect on the Clippers, man. We got to, bro. And honestly, we said it here first. I don't give a fuck. Let them niggas figure it out. It was going to be okay. Once the minutes got staggered, now they look how they supposed to look, bro. Yeah, I was never really a non-believer. It just take time. It's just a lot of people, a lot of egos. Some niggas is real deal hoopers over there. Everybody was a star on their team. Yeah. Or putting all them niggas on one team and thinking it's going to go. You got four people who probably might be in the Hall of Fame, bro. It'll take time, bro. Uh, definitely all going to be in the Hall of Fame. That's five. Who am I cutting out? Shit, Russ, Kawhi, PG, James. Don't they got somebody else? Over? Who else over there with them? I don't think nobody that's else is in the Hall of Fame. They into right there. Yeah. Yeah, that's that is much right it. there? Yeah, pretty much it. Yeah. I'm going to throw somebody in there. Shout out to Norman Powell, but I don't know about his. his... <laughs> AMP? Relax. <laughs> Relax. <laughs> Easy. We ain't gonna, we ain't gonna slide him. We not gonna do that either. Ah, right, fuck y'all. My nigga PJ over there. Free PJ. PJ don't wanna be free. They winning. Look, you ain't yeah. heard nothing else about them one bigger roles. Nah, man. PJ wanna hoop. The sun start winning. We ain't gonna hear from EJ no more. But them niggas keep losing. KG. KD talking about he frustrated. Nigga, stop taking everybody's assets when you go to teams and complain about having people to play with, bro. Yeah, they got rid of a lot to get them. Literally. They had to. Well, he, he shouldn't be complaining, though. It's really Brad Bill being out. That's all Yeah. It is. Now, I'll say this. Does he have a right to be upset about that? Because if you know Brad Bill's history, you know that Brad is injury prone. Yeah. You took a gamble on that. You can't be upset about that. Yeah, yeah. I think they should have went and got a, another point guard, though. Like, John Wall being available. I mean, I don't know how healthy he is or whatever. I don't know all that, but just his presence as a point guard, like, making passes and stuff, they need. I don't know how explosive he is right now, but... I need a general. They, he, at least come off the bench. They gotta take Devin Booker <clears throat> off the ball and let him be D-Book. Like, D-Book mm-hmm. scoring and killing is way better than him trying to facilitate the ball. I watched him last night against Dallas, and it's just like... Him and KD can't be they because they both trying to, make, like, you know, get other people involved. Yeah, and they getting double team. They got to throw the ball to certain people. Even though Grayson Allen was hooping, it's just like, I'd rather have oh, me. Devin Booker taking them shots. 